I'm in Rio de Janeiro in Brazil, and I've come here because they've done a special exhibition for the International Year of Chemistry. And it's on chemistry and the world. So let's go inside and see what they've got. They've built an exciting exhibition which can be dismantled and taken all over the country. Brazil is a huge country. But most exciting of all for me and Brady is they've got a periodic table. So look here, it looks like an ordinary periodic table, but you can take out the elements and it's got all sorts of information about it. And it's designed so children can choose an element. The little children aren't very tall, so they choose the rare earths and the radioactive elements. Perhaps might give them the wrong idea. And over here we have, as usual, the alkali metals. So let's choose this one, potassium. They have a picture of the element. But the most exciting thing is on the back, this strange code. And the idea is you take this and you put it in the hole here. And look what happens. They show our videos. Brady and I were amazed because most of the people coming here are quite young and don't have very good English. They have done captions. So I'm going to choose my favorite video, Hassium. And this is my favorite video because the first time we filmed it, I didn't know anything about it, and I had to make something up. So here you can see me. But now I know quite a lot about Hassium. I visited the lab in Darmstadt where they make these elements, and it's fantastic. And here you can see me in Darmstadt. And what I hope is that with a periodic table like this, we can really communicate our enjoyment of chemistry to many, many more people. I think it's really nice and it's very simple, but on the other hand, you can do so many things with it. I think you can even put the elements in the wrong place. But we must put them back because the public are about to come in soon and it'd be dreadful to lead them astray. Well, they are loving it because, you know, there's a possibility to interact with the periodic table and then to see something more about each one of the elements. So this is it's quite impressive for them. And, you know, uh, Professor Polyakov, it's quite a character, so people would love to see him. Yeah, it's really quite weird. It's also quite strange seeing myself so much because as soon as you see something on a bigger screen, it feels quite different from seeing them just on a the computer. On a computer, it feels like somebody else. 